I was born in 1865, and I can't remember the time I didn't love the snow. I never went to school until I was 14 years old. My mother taught me at home. All that I am, or all that I ever shall be, I owe to her. She had been a school teacher before she married my father, and she instilled in me her own love of knowledge and of the finer things of life. She had books, including a set of encyclopedias. I read them all. The snow crystals come to us not only to reveal the wondrous beauty of the minute in nature, but to teach us that all earthly beauty is transient and must soon fade away. But though the beauty of the snow is evanescent, like the beauties of the autumn as of the evening sky, it fades but to come again. In December 1931, shortly after receiving three copies of his Snow Crystals book, while walking home from a train trip to Burlington in a slushy snow, Bentley caught an awful cold. He had contracted pneumonia, and on the morning of December 23rd, he quietly dropped off to that peaceful sleep that knows no waking. One night I was walking through the snow I was looking for my footprints Underneath. Maybe they were someone else. 